service. Thank you for those people that are online. You have come that we continue with our services and God will bless us. I want to take this opportunity to pray together and ask of the presence of the Lord to visit us and so that we can have a concentration. I want you to set apart 45 minutes so that we can share the word of God and we can be able even to speak the blessings of God over your life. As I pray, I want you to know that we love you. Deliverance Church Mikidani, the church of choice. I want to recommend, I want to appreciate I want to appreciate our team, our media team, led by our brother Alan Yegon and our, our brother uh, um, Ladiki Master, Ladiki Master, and the other team that are behind the scene. I also want to thank you for our team that have been working tirelessly to make this day a success. Anthony Macau is with us, and also Carol Adiambo, Patra Kabu, Rona Wajiro Gatia, and, and, and Rita Rose. Rita Rose Gatia, they are on board. Reverend Richard Gatia is also allowed, and I told you she is our speaker in our third service. 
going giving us the prophetic word the prophetic word for this season is good to is good to acknowledge and to acknowledge and to listen to what god is saying god is saying something today and you will listen to it to the glory of god i want to appreciate our vision team leader wherever they are wilba fosh mumina masekizugu uh, mm. all the way just us akina just us masika karemi and um uh, borrow somewhere um uh, 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 um, all, all the guy Robert Ogema, all the team that are, we are working together with, I want to bless the Lord for you. Thank you, Ken Obara. Thank you, Jojo Juan. Thank you, the vision team. Guys, I appreciate, love you, and honor you. And it is an important, it is an important opportunity to serve God together in this generation. The days of digital preaching, and the Lord is our God. I want to thank God for speaking to us over the years. I appreciate our churches across this country, our members that are are washing off life from the village and from the city. Those that are in their homes and those that are in their office this morning, you wake up to go and, and do the, the essential services. Our members who are police officers, we remember them. Josephine, God bless you. Pastor Kaidi and the rest of Akinam Sharo, Akinam. Um, um. And the rest of the people that are serving in the National Police Service, I want you to know we are praying for you as you keep enforcing the uh, uh, enforcing the laws of the land. You are our prayers are, uh, are backing you and we love you and we appreciate. Thank you, Jeffrey, for making it an effort to connect with us over the years. The Lord is our God. How I pray that God is so faithful. I am letting you to know that 2020 is still our year of restoration and the demonstration and God is so faithful. He will make everything beautiful in his own time. The time is coming. I miss that time we meet at the car park. We meet and saying high five and so on. But for now we need to meet. We need to meet from a social distance through this platform. But I want you to know God cannot, God is not limited by space. God is everywhere. The Bible, the Bible says God is, God is Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is present. The Lord is everywhere. All over the world, God is there. And therefore, I am sending his word wherever you are. You may think you are in the darkest place of the world. You may think you are in the, in the most painful corner. Or you may think that you are so far, nobody knows where you are. I want you to know God knows where you are. Even if God doesn't know where you are. God knows where you are. Even if FB, uh, Facebook doesn't know who, where you are, God knows where you are. And through the men and the women of God that have been given intelligence, knowledge, and brilliance to be able to preach the gospel, God is using every, every gift that he has deposited in people to make sure the word of the Lord go forth and reach nation and change destinies of men and women. And I reiterate again, if you are a pastor in the village or in the city and you have not been able to go live and there is, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a little assistance you would need from us, we will help you through consultation and even advice and uh, we, we can connect you with our young men and our, our media team and it is and it will help you to do your and if you have resources, you have equipment but you don't know how to connect to them. I want you to know we have experts that can help you do that to the glory of God. How I pray that you woke up very well and there is hope. In this I want you to know we shall overcome. We shall overcome this. We are coming out of this problem of the coronavirus. We will never be the same again. We are more blessed than cursed. We are more favored than frustrated. And the heart of God is our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray together so that we can hear the word of the Lord. And God will minister to us in the name of the Lord. Our Father and our God, I want to thank you for the men and the women of God that are listening to us. I want to cover them with the blood of Jesus. I cancel every manner of fear panic and desperation and frustration that have been written in the heart and the lives of people, demonically or demonically frustrating the future of our people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority and power that is in the word of the Lord and decree that the heart of God shall be our portion. I pray for our families, both in the village and in the city. I pray for people in the car, in the, I pray for the people in the offices and in the, and those people 
in the homes, wherever people are gathered, I release a grace, a grace of unity and community. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel the spirit of fear. I pray for the men and the women that are on the face of the earth, for them to hear the word of the Lord and my Lord, that they may be able to adhere with the, with the instruction and direction that have been given by law and forces and governments of the day. I pray that Lord, through obedience, there shall be peace in our land. Thank you for your grace and mercy. How I praise you and honor you for another opportunity to share your word to the nations of the world. Through this platform, I release a healing power upon the air of our nation, our continent and the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring down evil imagination, strongholds and powers of the air that frustrate the preaching and the teaching of the word of God. I command them to backfire. I destroy patterns that have followed people, misfortune and desperation. I command them broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the church that Jesus you bought at the price of your blood. That church cannot be confined in a four wall. Wherever the church is gathered today, in individual places, in homes, children, young and old, wherever they are, I send the power of God. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I uproot every demonic voices that are speaking against our people and I release a power that changes the life of men and women. I declare today, it's the day that the Lord you have made that you shall rejoice and be glad in it. I pray for the president of this republic. Yes. President, I pray for Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, his yes. deputy William Samoa Ruto, yes. men and women in leadership and authority. Yes. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I release an anointing yes. to make a difference. Yes. I destroy satanic patterns yes. in the name of Jesus Lord Christ. Lord I decree today yes. the heart of God is upon our nation. Yes. I decree today mm. our children are safe and secure. Yes. I decree today yes. that the favor of God oh. is over our land. Yes. Every yes. curse spoken against our land yes. and our nation, oh. we cancel that curse. We cancel we silence it today. Silence. Powers of darkness, yes. witchcraft and sorcery, yes. evil strategies of demonic personality. Yes. We strip you your authority. Yes. You cannot manipulate our land. Yes. You cannot stop our nation. Yes. You cannot suppress this nation. Yes. In the name of Jesus oh, Christ, I release an anointing oh. that heal our land. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus I pray for every life cast preaching hey. across the world. Yes. It shall impact soul. Yes. It shall bring men and women to the knowledge of Jesus. Yes. I decree and declare mm. that the church of Jesus yes. shall move forward. Yes. Under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I decree today by the authority God you have given us as, you have, as your servant yes. that the nations of the world yes. shall be healed by the power of your word. Yes. Lord, as you continue to preach, mm. may your knowledge cover the face of the earth oh. as the water covers the sea. Yes. I release your power. Release. I release your healing. Yes. I release your restoration. Yes. I release your faith. Oh. I pray this morning hey. for Deliverance Church International. Yes. I pray for our Bishop Dr. Mark Karaoke, yes. his wife, Mom Joyce, yes. pray for the apostolic bishops, yes. pray for Bishop Dr. J.B. Maside, mm. Bishop Dr. George Gishana, yes. Bishop Dr. Kijimi Kemani, yes. Bishop, Bishop, uh, Bishop Kanyaru Simon, yes. Bishop uh, Paul Hoseru, yes. Bishop uh, Benjamin Kipruto. Yes. I bless them and cover them with we the favor of God. As they continue to serve the Lord, yes. I pray for their health. Yes. I pray for the wisdom from heaven. Yes. I pray for an anointing yes. to make a difference to the glory of God. Yes. And as I pray right now, mm. I release the blessings of God yes. upon the region of coast. Yes. I pray for Quare County yes. that have been affected with COVID-19. Yes. I cover Quare with the favor of God. Yes. I pray for Lamb County. Yes. I pray for Kirifi County. Yes. I pray for Taita Taveta. Yes. I pray for Mombasa County. Yes. I cover this six county yes. together with Tana River. Yes. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Yes. I cover in particular Mombasa yes. with the favor 
of God. Yes. Our people as they cross the ferry, yes. I commit them to your hand. Lord, I pray for security yes. and safety of those men and women. Yes. I commit the grace of God grace over of God. our ferry in the name of Jesus. Lord, Thank you, Lord, for your great heart yes. that have helped our land. Yes. We pray for our governor that yes. God will continue to use him. Lord, even in this particular season, mm. as he take measures and guide our county, yes. may your blessing follow his life. Yes. Thank you for the courtesy, Lord, and the grace that you have given our county commissioner, yes. our police commanders, yes. our men and women in the social, so, in the civil society, yes. non-governmental organization, yes. the churches and the opinion leaders. Opinion I release leaders. the blessings yes. of yes. God. Yes. How I pray yes. that you shall visit them and encourage them. Yes. Lord, in the the midst of whatever is happening, yes. I pray for your grace mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Lord, have your way, have your way. in this nation. Oh, have your we way. refuse to go down. Yes. And we decree we shall we shall not sink. Yes. We shall overcome. We Let your blessing be our portion. Oh, I pray for a men and women across this nation mm. to wake up with the hope, hope and with the trust that yes. God is on the throne. I release a presence yes. of despairing every fear, yes. every worry, yes. every doubt, yes. every complaining. Yes. And Lord, I pray yes. there shall be smile on our face. Yes. Because you are Jehovah God. Oh, Lord, in the hearing of your word, in the few minutes ahead of us, yes. open our ears to hear. Oh, open our eyes to see. Yes. Open our mind to understand. Yes. And open our heart to receive the incorruptible seed of your word. Mm. And today, dear Lord, may your Holy Spirit guide us mm. and change our story. Mm. Receive the glory mm. and adoration. Mm. You are God. Mm. And we love you mm. with all our heart. And we live to serve you. Yes. How I pray for a special anointing. Yes. In particular for this service. Yes. That men are going to be healed. Mm -hmm. Men are going to be set free. Yeah. Demonic activity shall be thwarted and destroyed. Yes. Yokes shall be destroyed. A, a, a burden shall be rolled away. Fetus and chains shall be broken. And even curses shall be silenced. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. I release favor even today to the glory of God. Father, we thank you and we love you. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, so shall it be. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a powerful prayer. Mm -hmm. God love this country. I want to encourage you wherever you are and I want you to know we cannot go down. We, are not, we have what it takes to survive this by God's grace. And listen to me and listen to me good. I'm getting into the second service. This is the second service. Um, we, are, we, are, we are going to hear the word of the Lord. And we are continuing with our message. And I, and I remind, I want to remind people, many Kenyans are, are now awake. Are either taking breakfast or you are waiting for to hear the word of the Lord. I want to remind you, continue adhering to the rule and the, and, and, the, and the guideline of the government of the day. I want to read a scripture that is near where I'm preaching. Psalms 107 verse 17. It says that fools are destroyed. Look at what the Bible says. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquity were afflicted. Don't become a fool during this season. It is a very difficult time you better be wise. It is expensive to be a fool. It is cheaper to be. Uh, it is cheaper to be wise. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquity, were afflicted. I want you to adhere to government guidelines. I'm reading the same scripture. I'm continuing today. I'm talking about the power of the sent word, part two. The power of the sent word, part two. And I'm reading verses 18. What does verses 18, 19, and 20? And, and, and we see what God says. It is said, Their soul abode all manner of food, and they drew near to the gate of death. They drew near to the gate of death. Verses 19. Verses 19, what does it say? Then they cried, then they, then they, then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. God is able to save us from our distress in the name of the Lord. Verses 20. What a powerful scripture. Verses 20 is my word. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Today, our part two, the sent word, part two. God sent his word 
and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I want to guarantee somebody listening to me, God has sent his word. And because of the instruction of the day, through the government of the day, in, in order to save us and to protect us from destruction by a ravaging pandemic, God has sent his word. I may not be, we may not, we cannot gather today in a church and do a service so that we can be secure and safer to preach for many more days. But on that, the word of God cannot be stopped. The word of God cannot be deviated. The word of God cannot be altered. The word of God cannot be given a curfew. It will still penetrate every manner of curfew. We sent it. We sent it. I'm looking for a scripture. I'm looking for a scripture where the centurion looked at Jesus. And then I'll, I'll be able to continue from there. Where the centurion told Jesus, Jesus, I am a man and an authority. And I, and, I, and I tell one soldier, go there, and he go there. And I tell another one, come here, and he go there. Therefore, I tell Jesus, you don't have to come to my home. You don't have to come, you, you, you don't have to, come to my home. Just say the word. Say the word. And when you say the word, and when you said the word, I will be able, I, I, the, the, the child will, yeah, this is, this is in the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter 8 verses 9. It says, for, for I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. <clears throat> and I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. The other verse, verse 10 says, when Jesus had it, he marveled and said to those who followed him, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. I know somebody somewhere seated in your house. If we can go to verses, we can go to verses, nine, verses 8. Matthew 8, 8. What does it say? The centurion, look at what he said. The, the, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word, and my servant would be healed. So I don't have to come to your office. I don't have to come to your home. We don't have to meet anywhere. I am only speaking the word. Wherever you are, I want you to receive your healing. I want you to receive your faith. I want you to, I want you to get the answer of the worry and the fears in life. Sometime in this life, you will be sent arrows of fear. The devil capitalizes in sending fear, uncertainty, embarrassment, and oppression. But I am here today uh, sending the word of the Lord. I divert all arrows that have been targeting your life. I command them to go back to say that in the name of Jesus Christ, I am sending the word of God to give you hope and faith, and the Lord will help you. I am reading, I am reading. We, we, we continue with our sermon this morning, part two of the, of the power of the sent word. And I want you to know from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verses 3. Look at what the Bible says. Hebrews chapter 11 and verses 3. By faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which are visible. Hallelujah. I want you to understand the things which we see were not made by things that are, that are visible. They were made by the word of God. The word of God has created you. When we said the word, God sent his word. And when God sent his word, it created a thing out of nothing. Don't undermine, don't undermine the word of God. It has great and miraculous power in performing God counsel. Don't undermine the word of God. It has great power in performing God's counsel. God framed the world with the word. So God's word is a tool for creation. You can write it that God's word is a tool for creation. You too can frame your life with the word of God. And today, as I speak, I want to frame your world with this word. It, you, no matter what is happening to your life, 
I am speaking the word. I am sending the word that can frame your world. And you will never be the same again. God created all things his word, by his word. And he is still maintaining all things by his word. And I read from the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verses 3. Hebrews 1, 3. Hebrews 1, 3. What does it say? Who being the brightness of his glory, the express image of his person, and upholding all things, by the word of his power, when he had by himself pardoned our sin, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. In other words, we are sustained by the word of the Lord. Corona cannot destroy the sustenance of the world because the word of the Lord is upholding all things. God's word is upholding all things. There is power. There is power in the word of God. I want to I want I want you to know. I want you to know. I want you to know something that is very important. The word of God is so valuable that we must place the right value on it. And I tell you, I always say this, and I, will, I want to remind you, whoever is listening to me for the first time, or whoever is listening to me for a uh, uh, several times, that Value determine the price. It is the value of something that determine the price of something. If something is valuable, it is costly. If something is not valuable, it is cheap. The value you place on a thing determine the price you will pay for it. When you put a value in something, it raises the cost of that thing. And everything of value is not free. It carries a cost. It carries a cost. God's word carries the greatest value in the entire universe. Listen to me and listen to me good. God's word carries the greatest value in the entire universe. It cannot be quantified. It is of immeasurable value. That is why we, we are doing everything to make sure you hear the word of the Lord. Because it is only the word of God that can sustain the peace, the tranquility, and the continuity of the world. If today the word of, the word of God is taken out of the world, the world crosses down and the entire creation is wiped out and there is no more world. Because, but by the word of the Lord, we are sustained. We are meeting today and we are wherever we are by the word of the Lord. I, I, I want you to understand, I want you to understand that and God will help you. Why is the word of God valuable? I want to give us, I want to, I want to share with us, I want just quickly by God's grace, I told you I don't want to, to keep you very long. When it is a, when, when it's a live church, when it's a live church, we don't take the whole hour. I want just to take 30 or 25 minutes and I'm out of your way and I can release you to go and actualize the word that I have spoken. I'm not only adding notes to your book, notebook, I am giving you words that you need, you should, you should activate and changes your life. Listen to me. I want to talk about four, 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 four variable, four reasons why the word of God is valuable. Number one, God's word perform God's counsel. God's word perform God's counsel. As much as you have said the word of God, it will, it will go and perform God's counsel. God's word performs God's counsel. Jeremiah 1 and verses 12. God's word performs God's counsel. This is what the Bible says. Then, Jeremiah 1 verses 12. This is what the Bible says. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. God's word performs God's counsel. In the name of the Lord. Listen to me. And another version says, God's word, for I will hasten my word to perform it, which is okay. That is KJV. I will hasten my word to perform it. Yes. Then the, then then said he, Lord, then said the then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. In other words, when God's 
word is sent. God follow that word and perform it and fulfill it. We have already sent the word of God over the air of this land, over the over our families and over our our over our people, that that word will heal our land. And God has backed it to come and perform it. I have told you four important reasons why God's word is valuable. Number two, God's word energizes. It is a strength booster. Anyone who feel weak, anyone who feel desperate, anyone who feel tired, I am here. Anyone who feel overwhelmed, our people, our medical officers, our ministry of health, our researchers, wherever you are, I am here sending the word of the Lord so that you can get, you can receive, so that you can receive, a, you can be energized and get strength booster. And this is what the Bible says. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Uh, Proverbs 24 verses 5. From the book of Proverbs 24 verses 5. Proverbs 24 verses 5. The Bible says, A wise man is strong. Yeah, a man of knowledge increases strength. A man of knowledge increases strength. The word of the Lord, it is a strength booster. I am here to send the word to increase your strength. You will never be the same again. Jehovah is God. He reigned. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I have already said, I have already said two things. I say number one, God's word performs God's counsel. Number two, God's word energizes. It is a strength booster. Number three, God's word God's word leads and direct. God's word leads and direct. We get leading and direction from the word of God. Psalms 119 verses 105. God's word leads and direct. God's word leads and direct. Psalms 119 Verses 105. I read. This is what the Bible says. Psalms 1, 19 and verses 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. In other words, we get leading and guidance from the word of the Lord. The word of God is, it leads and it directs. And through this season, we have sent the word of God for you to get reading and to get direction. Finally, number four, number four reason why the word of God is valuable. God's word gives inheritance. God's word gives inheritance. God's word gives inheritance. We, we get it from the book of Acts chapter 20 yes. and verses 32. Acts chapter 20 and verses 32. Yes. Acts, that's what the Bible says. Yeah. So now, brethren, yes. I commend you to God mm. and to the word of his grace, yes. which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I repeat again. So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified glory to god yes. listen to me and listen to me good mm. god's word gives inheritance Hallelujah. as a country mm. as a continent yes. as the world yes. we have an inheritance from the word of god yes god is faithful mm. and the more of the word of God mm. you know yes. the more control you have yes. over the circumstances of life mm. I want you to write this from your notebook at home mm. I want you to know this whoever is listening me for wherever you are yes. whether you are driving your car yes. whether you are you, you are you are in the hospital bed yes. whether you have been put at a quarantine yes. whether you are sick in a hospital bed mm. listen to me and listen to me good 
the more the word of God you know, yes. the more control you gain over the circumstances of life. Yes. You need to know the word of God, and the more the word of God you know, yes. the more the control you gain over the circumstances of life. Mm. And we decree to Kenya oh. that even at this time, yes. we shall keep preaching, Hallelujah. we shall keep teaching, yes. we shall reach men and women, oh. we shall pronounce the favor and the heart of God. Yes. It shall be well. Yes. The devil is a liar. Hey. The word of the Lord hey. is our strength. Yes. And we have the word. Mm. I am sending the word of the Lord to you ah. so that you can have control yes. over that circumstances. Yes. There is no sickness yes. that is supposed to stress you yes. or frustrate your life. Yes. Listen to me and listen to oh, me good. Ka, ka, the word of the Lord mm. is a lamp unto our feet yes. and a light unto our path. Hey. And this country hey. shall not get lost. Yes. The church of Jesus yes. shall not disappear. Oh, no. I decree and declare, oh. even when we meet in our homes, yes. even when we meet in our offices, yes. even when we meet on the street, yes. I decree and declare, mm. the word of the Lord yeah. that have been sent yes. will keep us safe, keep secure, us safe. secure and safe oh. in the hearts of oh, God. You, we are leaning on the everlasting arm yes. and the devil can do nothing about oh. it. Our country is secure. secure. I am here to speak about the sent word. Yes. Part two of our sermon. Mm. And I decree to you, yes. I receive the engrafted word of God yes. for my healing. Yes. Because when we said the word of God, oh. the word of God bring healing. healing. The word of God bring deliverance. deliverance. The word of God bring blessing. blessing. The word of God brings favor. favor. The word of God brings promotion. promotion. The word of God gives dominion. dominion. He sent to me and he sent to me good. Yes. This a benefit of the power of the saints to word. Yes. Number one, healing. Mm. Number two, deliverance. Yes. Number three, blessing. Yes. Number four, favor. Hey. Number five, promotion. Mm. And number six, dominion. Hallelujah. You shall have dominion Hallelujah. to the glory of God. Hallelujah. The devil, you are a liar. liar. And we raise the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus, you are enthroned Enthrone. in our marriages. In our families, yes, in the church of Christ, yes. in this country, hey. we decree and declare mm. that the favor of God is our portion. Yes. I, worship, I worship the name of the living God. Mm. I honor God because of his faithfulness. Yes. And I decree today mm. that the sent word yes. will take us to another level. Yes. We refuse to go down. Yes. We shall overcome. Yes. Together, we shall make it. Yes. Even when the ocean rises, the flood rises and the ocean rises, mm. God will give us victory give us in the name of the Lord. The I release an anointing ah, of the sent word. Oh, I speak healing from your hospital yes, bed. I speak favor from oh, wherever you are. It. This word yes. will take you far oh. and your life will never be the same again. Yes, I want to wind up by saying yes. God is our God. Yes. He reigns forever. Yes. He is the same yesterday yes. and forevermore. Yes. We keep listening to the power oh. of the sent word. Oh. I still have some more parts yes. that we are going to continue listening yes. and we will never be the same again. Jehovah. We still have a morning devotion tomorrow. Yes. Five in the morning yes. to six a.m. Yes. We shall be live yes. on this same place. Mm teaching and preaching yes. the word of the Lord, yes. which is the sent word. Oh. We shall set this word yes. until you are safe oh, God, and God, secure. God, you will not sink in the sea you of problem. The coronavirus, mm. COVID-19, yes. you are losing your grip yes. out of our nation, yes. out of our continent, oh. and out of the globe. Yes. And by the power oh, in yes. the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. and by the power yes. in the, by, by the power that is embodied on the sent word. Yes. I destroy your authority. Destroy. I command you to lose your evil and, and, and wicked heart yes. out of our country. Yes. In the name of Jesus name Christ, of Jesus. I release a healing from God yes. over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I said the word I over it. your body. I, I said your word. I said the word of God yes. over your marriage. Oh. I said the word of God yes. over your office. Yes. I said the word of God yes. over the desires of your heart. Yes. This word yes. will set you free yes. in the name of Jesus. Oh, I decree and declare yes. the heart of God oh. is a 
our portion. Father, I want to bless your people. Even as I said your word to touch their life and to cause them to know that you never change. Thank you for speaking through us and with us. Your yes. word is a lamp unto our feet yes. and a light unto our path. Oh, How I pray this morning, yes. no one of us yes. listening to this message yes. who remain discouraged. Yes. Lord, we catapult the faith catapult. of the men and women yes. to move higher, higher to survive this situation. Yes. Every pandemic hey. is broken today. Broken. The spirit of fear, yes. panic and worry, yes. and anxiety, yes. you have no place oh. in this country. Yes. Break in the name Break. of Jesus. We destroy sickness yes. and diseases. Yes. We can, we are we are uproot yes. every root of wickedness yes. that have been planted in our land. Yes. And we release the yes. power of resurrection yes. in the name of oh, Jesus. Jehovah. And we speak the sent word yes. over every case yes. of coronavirus. Yes. We command the virus yes. to die from its root. Die, die, die. We break its power. Yes. We destroy its operation. Yes. And in the name of Jesus, oh. we receive our healing. Oh. And it is in Jesus' name yes. we pray and we believe. Amen. May the Lord literally bless you, oh, keep you, and cover you and make you glorious yes. to the glory of God. Yes. As I come to the close of the service, yes. I want to welcome Reverend Rachel Ngatia yes. to say hi and to bless you. Yeah. And, 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 and we continue. And remember, we have, remember, remember we have a third service. Our third service starts exactly at 11. We have 40 more break, minute break, and we come back for the third service. It shall be powerful. It shall be awesome. You will never be the same again. Listen to me. This is Reverend Rachel coming to you right now. I want to welcome her, and then we will have we'll be having a, 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 a scriptural a scripture a scripture from our daughter. Our daughter have a scripture a memory a memory verse. She will memorize the verse, and we shall be it shall be well Amen. to the glory of God. Welcome, Reverend Rachel, and, and and say hi to people and greet the church. Hallelujah! Glory to God. What a word. That is my word. I am going to depend on the sent word. The word of God has arrived. I thank God for our senior pastor, Reverend Robert Garcia. I thank God for his word. I thank God for the word of God upon his spirit and his heart. That is the word for today. The word of God has come to your home. The word of God has come to your hospital bed. The word of God has come to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God is stronger than any other word in the name of Jesus. We are canceling the word of the media. We are canceling the evil reports. We are receiving the word of God according to the word that we have received from our senior pastor, Reverend Robert Gatia. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. Spend time reading the word. Spend time listening to the word. Because after this, your life will not be the same again. I thank you and I bless you. Welcome to our church, the little church, Mikindani, wherever you are. We are taking authority over the airwaves in the mighty name of Jesus. We are taking that authority, sending the word of God, giving it dominance, giving it a chance to give the promotions and the healing in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Reverend Rachel Ngatia. I'm the wife of the senior pastor of Deliverance Church, Mikindani, Reverend Robert Ngatia. We have two children, Rona and Rita, and we are here with the team that has come from our church, our media team, and our children that are staying with us. In the name of Jesus, we are going to bless you every day, every lunchtime, every evening. The word of God is taking authority. God bless you and look forward to seeing you at 11 a.m. Amen. 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 What a blessing. We want to invite our daughter to say up uh, to say a memory verse. I want to ask Ronawa Jiro Gatia to come. Welcome. Welcome our daughter and our and our daughter Rita Rose. I want you to stand here and look at this camera. Rona, come here and look and look at this camera. Tell the people of the world this memory verse and you can say hi to them. You can say your name. Let, 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 you, let you see. Let, let you see. And then you say the memory. Who is saying the memory verse? Always saying the memory verse. Look at that one. Look at this camera. Look at it. Turn it a bit so that you can see her. Uh -huh. Exactly. Now say. Say your name. Add the volume. My name is Olawa Jirongata. I'm not kept school. I don't know what to tell you. Hebrews 13 verse 17. It says, Obey those who rule from my youth. Thank you. 
28 degrees. Amen. 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 Say hi. Say your name. Say your name. Say your name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. That is our that is our that is our daughter. That is our daughter Rona and Lita. And they are doing good. And the Lord has been gracious to them. I am happy for this. What a blessing. What a blessing. I also want to appreciate the, the rest of the team. We come to the cross of our service. I want us to pay our tithe and give our offering. And you can see our our you can see our till number. You can see our till number. Our till number is right there. You will be you will be blessed as you serve the Lord. We believe in serving the we uh, worshiping God with our resources. We don't give to be blessed. We are already blessed. We give to advance the kingdom of God. We give by uh, to advance the kingdom of God. I want to welcome you. I want to welcome you to pay your tithe. Our members, the members of this church, people who know that Reverend Robert Gatia is 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 the is their pastor and this is the where they 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 live and uh, they get spiritual nourishment this is where they get spiritual counseling and leadership this is this is this is where you need to to pay your time and go to the till number go to your mpesa go to the till number and if you you can go to you can go to paypal if you go to google and you go to paypal and you said and and you and you can send money you can send your your money through uh you go to info at dc mikidani.org you can be a blessing to this ministry we have a we have we, we are also feeding some 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 children some uh, some children for our feeding program who, who they have gone back to their guardians and so on and we are still feeding them we are we, we are receiving food from the office from the church office if you if you if you if you inbox us and tell us i have food uh, we thank god for serve international serve international you gave us food that we have been able to distribute to families and we are happy for your contribution the members of the church and the people that are our friend and you have money you can send we buy food or you have food you can bring and we can serve we can give to the people because people are calling our office through dominion through dominion care we have a we have a we have a ministry we have a cbo a community based organization called dominion care you can like the page and you can see how to contribute and reach and reach and reach to the needy and god will bless you i want to, to let you know once again that we love you and i'm so happy that we can be able to share the word of the lord in the comfort of our home and wherever you are across the world and this one it is a powerful opportunity to, to speak the, the sent word. And remember, our third service, exactly 11, the latest 11.15, we are here on, we are here live. We'll be sharing the word of the Lord, Reverend Rachel Gatia, the woman of the hour, a prophetess by gifting. She will be sharing a prophetic message that you literally need to hear. You, I can't, I can't, I can't wait to see that opportunity to listen to that one. I'm back. We will be back again, and the Lord will. This is, this is, this is our Dominion Care. Dominion Care. Dominion Care is on. Thank you. This is Dominion Care. We do feeding program. All these children, fifty of them. They are back to their they are back to their guardian. We have to we have to visit them and give them food from home because we are still working. We have not been listed as, as some of the essential services, so we are not working at night. We are only working during the day. So be, by by between eight and, and 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 five, between eight and five in the evening, you can bring you can bring your food in the church office, and we shall be able that food will be able to reach these families. We feed them. These are families from needy fam These are families that are vulnerable and literally need food uh, to the glory of God. It is a blessing to serve the Lord. I want you to know we love you so very much. You will never be the same again. God richly bless you. I want to pray for you. Say the words of grace. Release you so that you can go for the third service. It was a joy having you. Remember, we are live the whole of next week. Five in the morning, lunch hour meeting, 9.45 at night. Monday prayer and Wednesday Bible study, the devil cannot stop this. The heart of God is our portion. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Father, I bless these people. The eyes the of watch this life cast. 
I bless them and release the favor over their life. And as we meet again, may your presence make every difference. I speak divine and covenant immunity and protection. In Jesus' name, so shall it be.